Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Terry, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I was able to get rid of my textured, bumpy skin with some hyperpigmentation all at home in just a couple of days. Everything I use in this skincare routine is super super affordable. Again, I'm going to leave links to everything that I've used in this video in my description box down below. So to make it easier for you guys to be able to purchase, feel free to check out my description box down below. I'm going to leave everything linked there for you guys. I was only able to put on my brows and put on some mascara but overall this is just how good my skin texture is looking and if you're still watching by now and you haven't hit the subscribe button down below what are you waiting for guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never ever miss an upload from me and to be honest i've fallen off my skincare routine several several times because i've been so 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 busy and I did start to notice that some of the skincare products that I was using had stopped working for me and it was just like I was applying water onto my skin. So I started to take out steps that I didn't feel were crucial in my skincare routine and I decided to narrow everything down to the bare basics. The first thing that I changed in my skincare routine was my cleanser. So I got the combo, I got the hemp seed clarifying face soap and face oil from Mabel Green. And this is how the soap looks. Hemp seed oil has a comedogenic rating of zero, which means it does not clog your pores in any way. But apparently it's been used for years and years to treat pimples, acne breakouts, by killing the acne causing bacteria and really getting in there to clean out your pores. And it also helps to clear hyperpigmentation and also fade away dark marks left behind by your pimples. And the hemp seed soap that I got contains ingredients like aloe vera, hemp seed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, cowling clay, green tea extracts, sea kelp extracts, willow bark extracts, and licorice root extracts. It says that you are able to use this soap one to two times a day, which is what I started to do religiously. And to get the maximum results using the soap, the seller actually advised me to leave the soap on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes before going in to rinse it off with lukewarm water. So the next step in my routine was masking and anytime my skin starts to act up like this, this turmeric mask always comes through for me. To prepare it, you're going to need a couple of items. You're going to need an empty plastic bowl, a plastic spoon. You're also going to need a synthetic brush for application. And then obviously you're going to need some turmeric. You're also going to need some pure organic honey. You're also going to need a small amount of apple cider vinegar. Please check to make sure that you're using the one with the mother. Take a small amount of turmeric and add some honey in the plastic bowl. I eyeball this to make sure that I'm not making too much. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. But the apple cider vinegar here is completely optional. I've prepared this mask using rose water and it works absolutely the same. So if you have more sensitive skin and you're a bit worried about using the apple cider vinegar, look into using rose water. The main active ingredients of this mask is the turmeric and the honey turmeric is a magic spice that has been used for generations to clear fine lines and wrinkles it also contains antioxidants and has anti-inflammatory properties so if you feel like your skin is looking dull and a bit dry turmeric is able to give you clear natural glowy skin and it also works amazingly well to treat spots and hyperpigmentation while honey on the other hand deeply moisturizes your skin cleans out your pores gently exfoliates your skin it also treats sunburns and also fights against pimples and it also has anti-aging properties as well and i'm going to leave the mask to sit on my face for about 20 to 30 minutes before i go in and rinse it off initially i used the mask three times within a week but as time goes on i started to reduce the frequency and started to use it only once a week and after washing off the mask i went in with my tea tree toner from the body shop this is just one of the toners that never ever fails me anytime i have any active breakouts i always always reach out for my tea tree toner 
And the next step is to use a hydrating serum and this is the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. And I only need to use a few drops of this and I let it really really sink into my skin before I go in with the next step. Hyaluronic acid helps to keep the outer layers of our skin hydrated. And hydrated skin is healthy looking skin. And I've really been intentional about using this hyaluronic acid at least every single day to make sure that I'm improving the overall luster and appearance of my skin. Next, I'm going to be applying a generous amount of moisturizer. Guys, never skip moisturizer. You need to use moisturizer. Moisturizer is a constant in every effective skincare routine. And moisturizer here helps to seal in the hydration. And it also helps the hyaluronic acid absorb correctly, especially if you are in a dry environment. It helps the hyaluronic acid really absorb the moisture from the environment, especially if the air around you is a bit dry. I'm going to be following up with the hemp seed oil from Mabel Green. <sighs> I really love this oil so 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 much and as of right now, I'm on my second bottle. My skin drinks up this oil no matter how much I use. So it doesn't leave my skin looking oily or greasy and it doesn't sit heavy on the skin at all. A bottle of this oil currently retails for, for about 90 Ghana CDs. I think that's about $9 roughly, which in my opinion, a money well, well spent. You can totally use this in the morning or at night or both. Always remember to use your sunscreen, two to three finger sticks for your face and neck. The one I'm currently using is the Black Girl Sunscreen with 30 SPF. I think they have a 45 SPF now, so if that's your jam, totally. If you're on the market for a new facial soap that is completely organic and has no harsh chemicals, definitely check out Mabel Green on Instagram. I'm going to leave their links in the description box down below for you guys. I'm turning one, trying to live it up here, right, right, right.